<laughs> you know, just thinking of loving justice and hating iniquity, there's what's known as the fraternity and the sorority. Yeah. <laughs> a social honorary or professional society is mainly organized for colleges or university students. Yeah. <laughs> Fraternities are usually for men and sororities are for women. Mm -hmm. Their names came from the Latin words for brother, frator, mm -hmm. and sister, soror. <laughs> Individual fraternities and sororities usually have names made up of letters from the Greek alphabet. Oh. <laughs> and, and therefore are referred to as Greek letter societies. Ouch. Mm -hmm. Now, special fraternities originated in colonial America to provide homes for students who are away from their families attending school. <laughs> the most famous of them, are, and the earliest one to use Greek letters, are the Phi Beta Kappa. Mm -hmm. It was organized at the College of William and Mary, Williamsburg, Virginia, in 1776. Yes. <laughs> there was a, a special date there. Yeah. <laughs> it's a 4th of July. Oh. <laughs> you know, I emailed the fraternities and the sororities. Yes. <laughs> Could you get me every individual that uh, was in the fraternity or the sororities? Yes. <laughs> See, I noticed something about sororities. A lot of very young women, when they go off to college or university, <laughs> they, uh, they pledge an initiation into the active membership. Yes, that's what it says here. Yes. Incoming freshmen, uh, by a system of rushing, uh -huh, after probationary probation, <laughs> pledge shift and initiation into active membership takes place. Mm. Now, uh, a lot of these colleges and universities, they have uh, what's known as the Greek system. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, my thought was, yes, those that are sororities or fraternities, it's only for the first four years of your college education or university education where you're uh, allowed to be in the uh, actual uh Greek system. Yeah. I thought that they should be in there until they get their PhD, that we needed smarter individuals that were willing to mentor those that were freshmen. Yes. Where you could take a fraternity or sorority mm -hmm. and you could, um, well, you, you live together in this large house. Yes. <laughs> but after you get your bachelor's, you could have your own uh, kind of studio apartment. Yes. Where you were involved, uh -huh, but you were kind of separated so that you could you could have your own personal space. Right. And then the encouragement would be that we need more PhDs in the United States of America. Mm -hmm. Now, I've seen some of these individuals that are in the Greek system, very attractive women, 18 to 22 years old. Yes. <laughs> but they don't have fully matured female male brains. Oh, <laughs> if you kept them there until they're 25 or 26 so that they get their PhDs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'd have a smarter nation. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, they'd have fully matured male and female minds by the time that they leave the university system. Yes. Now, I'd like to know the GPS location of every, every, every location of the, of, well, I, I had, excuse me, mm -hmm. see, somebody wanted um, all of, well, University of Washington, yes, <laughs> Washington State University, yes, somebody, yes, thought that they need the sexual nerve endings of all the, Ooh, you know, I have emailed. Mm -hmm. Now, this fraud and forgery, yes, this uh, child abduction and kidnapping, right, for every, just get me every one of them right now. I want the last uh, 50 years uh -huh, of every person that had pledged, poo, as they got initiated during those four years of the formation years. Yes, see, the thought, right, <laughs> That you stupid fucks are twisting the minds of those that go to higher education. Because I gotta tell you right 